Mending the World with Glue That Is Love, June 29, 2016 By Shire Illuminance River Web Pages, www.diamondlightnetworks.com and www.akashicintuitive.com Many ways of meditation can take us into the heart space, and I have been experimenting with them for a long time. I had a guided experience that made a huge personal impact recently at a workshop, with Viola Rose who teaches Drunvalo Melchizedek's material on going into the sacred space of the heart. She is a teacher from his school of remembering, which carries on his work as he is semi-retired and on to other discoveries. Benefits of Living in the Heart There is great value in living in the heart, and it sounds cliché, so cliché that we may dismiss it. We miss something without the inquiry as to what this really means to live in the heart. She explains the difference of living in the head, which most of us do much of the time versus living in the heart. Living in the head for me can feel like I have certain pathways of thought that I travel over and over. It is not fun to be in this state, and I am sure most everyone has experienced this. When it becomes neutral of emotion it is much easier for me to have obsessive thinking patterns. What I do is to simply acknowledge it which then allows me to let it go. Viola's way of describing her life before anchoring herself to living in the heart, was that there were peaks of joy and valleys of challenging emotions, ups and downs. She says that the law of attraction, through thinking does this up and down thing to our lives by bringing what we want, but also what we do not want into it. Living in the heart made her life more smooth, a river of grace. This got my attention. I wish for my life to be a river of grace. I was already familiar with, and aligned to Drumlow's work with the heart meditations, and this workshop took it deeper. A meditation that I like is here, and Drumlow Melchizedek's book about this is Living in the Heart. In the meditation, the first thing is to blindfold your eyes. You then send and receive love with Mother Earth, and then the sky and mix the love together in your heart, feeling their union, and their love for you. Doing this first makes it easier to go into the space of the heart. You place your awareness to the center of the brain, as if you had a sphere there, and you as a tiny being. You move downward to the throat. At this point, I felt the urge to speak light language, and felt like it could flow easily. This is something useful for those learning to speak light language. Entering and exploring your own personal heart space. We then move the sphere into our hearts. She showed us how to find an opening, and move into a wormhole, and to the vortex of the heart space. Our vortex heart space is our own, and like a lotus flower temple and is unique to each person. My own heart space is unique each day as it changes as I do this meditation. You meet yourself and perhaps your higher self, not other people, in this space. It is a place to commune with spirit. It is a place to ask questions and finding solutions. For me, the heart space has a palpable vibration that is special and visceral. Once you're in the space of the heart, you can tone the vibration that you feel which is your unique soul signature tone. It is a key to returning by toning it, and through feeling it in your body especially in the heart space. That is something to experiment with when you visit the heart space. In recent days a few things have happened here. One day I became a butterfly with other butterflies, putting on wings. It was all light and playful. Today I saw myself as having ancient indigenous heritage with dark braids. I could feel the simplicity of this multidimensional aspect of me, and the beauty she has which helps me bring that through to this life. I have experienced a golden pool of liquid love light, that I have immersed myself in, and floated in during these meditations. It has rippled, ripple love out to the world. That represents how our hearts are magnetic broadcasters of love vibration, and they affect all that is around them. The cover of the Living in the Heart book has the heart's energy field, a torus, 
and also the human energy field around that of a golden person, illustrating the heart coherence field. A journey into the heart space showed me a room, that was a dome space made of different mirrors. The mirrors are mirroring back my light, and they represent people in my life. The message was that sometimes we run away from our shadow that the other is reflecting to us. I could see how silly that is, to run away from the self when it is presented. Instead, we are to interact with others so the light within us shines the brightest, and is thus mirrored back. Something about how we see them, and how we can be neutral, so that the mirrors shine the most light that we are, back to us with the clarity of truth. That can be interpreted as, be neutral about what others show to us as ourselves, and don't freak out about who we are, witness the self. The heart space is the nexus point between heaven and earth, and so much more. The book Love Without End, by Glenda Green, illustrates it so well. At the center of your soul is the sacred heart. This is the point at which you are one with God. The heart sees infinity within and without. It can behold perfection. It can ascertain the origin point of conditions and change them. The heart is your higher intelligence. Your heart is centered in the viewpoint of infinity, established by your Creator. Thus the heart honors your individuality, the oneness of God and the integrated unity of all that is. I encourage you to experience this space in the heart for yourself. It is where you go for your own experiences. Meditation is the way. John Verlo's heart meditation path is one of many ways to go there. Within the personal heart space there is also another place, the secret space of the heart, the singularity point. She described a hole that goes there, and I saw it as a black spot, nostril looking orifice and felt the swoosh of going in and arriving in this space. Another thing is that when you enter these spaces, you ask for there to be light as the first thing. Then you can see with your psychic senses what is there. I feel and sense lots of vortex energy and swirling. I also sense expansion once I have entered the space, like it opens up, and there is an aha feeling of knowing I am there. When I went to the secret space, the singularity point, I confirmed that was the location intuitively after the fact by the vision that came. You see, everything and everyone including the smallest particles to the largest universes have singularity points, and they are nested in the same singularity point. One can visit the entire universe within you. That is exactly what I had the opportunity to do. First I felt myself seated at a desk that was a U-shape around me. On the desk was something, and it seemed like a topographic map that was three-dimensional. I could feel or see or sense miniature mountains on it. From here, I could bless the world, pray for an area, a person up close in a magnified view, like my mother for example, an area, a planet or galaxy. It is all the same and all accessible through the heart space. I see a topographic map of the world with dimension to it. Have you seen an apple peel, that is cut in a long strip, a spiral? It can be put back together to cover the apple, by wrapping it around the sphere. It was as if the world were like this, in a long apple peel strip, except there were mountains on this globe. I felt the spiral of it as if I were standing on the earth apple, and also there were spirals of galaxies, and the universe as stars connected to the spiral of the earth, plus the spiral of the stars. I saw the earth go into a globe as a spiral with the spaces filled in with peanut butter. Peanut butter, in this vision represented love. Love is what mends the earth, and holds it together. So imagine the earth glued together with this love. From Sufi friends, I have learned that there is a word called ishku, in Persian meaning love, divine love not romantic love, or the glue that holds things together. Ishku allows the planets to move correctly and to be drawn together. Love is the force holding the universe together. Upon this vision of the earth being mended by love, and the spiral of the galaxy, I had a message about what is important for me and perhaps for other humans. This is that we need to go into the heart, 
in meditation, often and to live there as a way of life. The message was that we do not need grounding so much as this, but to have more within Ning, which is a word my consciousness made up meaning to go within. It sounds a bit like winning too. We need more within Ning. And indeed this inner communion of the heart was profound and left me feeling more heart-centered. I kept that awareness after the meditation time. I asked the teacher how to be more in the heart full time. She said that the toning gets her back in the heart when she knows she has left it, like when challenged emotionally or frustrated. Intentionally go back to the heart when you know you have left and are thinking too much. With thinking, there can be a feeling of love and bliss, but there is also doubt and judgment. The heart cancels the duality experience which is what is so wonderful, so life can turn into a river of grace. My experience after this meditation has been a feeling of being able to listen without judgment to another, and being much more patient in conversation. I am allowing longer pauses with silence to hear what the other says. It feels easier, and less stressful. It feels more peaceful and flowing and present. I feel myself feeling into the heart space, like a vibrational hum inside while I talk to another person or listen to them. And it is an awareness I wish to continue and cultivate more fully. As a consciousness scout, I will be within Ning more, feeling the vibration of my heart, and going into the heart space often. I will have longer daily meditations, because it is fun, and reaps so many rewards. Thanks for allowing me to share. Many blessings, and blessings to you on your hard journeys. Shire Illuminance River www.diamondlightnetworks.com www.akashicintuitive.com